Okay, good afternoon everyone. How are you doing today? You have enough power to stay with us for another hour, maybe two hours? Yeah? Okay, so today we'll be talking about ASUS as a case study for an online retail fashion shop, right? And the reason why we do that is because we can compress lot of things we've been learning so far, including customer journeys, a little bit of marketing which we'll cover later on, but also components of a perfect e-commerce store, right? So that is why we chose to look at ASUS. How many of you do shop on ASUS website? Can I see your hands? Oh, all right, well that's quite a good number of students. Uh, I think we're going to go and examine several components of the e-commerce site, okay? And the reason for doing that is because it will give you a good understanding about different features that are necessary to have them well, well looked after into the website. So, as you know, this is this is their website, and it's just one of their recent 30% uh, sale for winter style, okay? Um, you know the site is very straightforward to use, fantastic graphical user interface, and some very specific components that are redesigned all the time. Okay, and we'll look after uh, all these features, but then in the end we'll look after some of their um, awards for the best e-commerce site in 2011, fashion e-commerce site in 2011. And that's another reason why they've been rewarded because they do provide a very good. Um, customer journey for all their uh, visitors that go, go into their site. Uh, let's just look at a few of the key components behind the scenes, right? Okay, well, you know, it's, it's a pretty powerful e-commerce site, right? It's a pretty powerful company. Okay, and they're really, they're really looking into expanding that even further and we, we'll talk about it later on. Again, they, they're looking at 228 million pounds in revenue and that is really big for an e-commerce site. Okay, so uh, it is quite important to understand what is their business model. And some of the components that we'll be looking after really do describe, I believe, quite well about them and why they do as well as they do, okay? Another important thing to look into now, considering the power of social media, is that they have more than one million Facebook fans. Okay? And again, sometimes it's very difficult to, to understand what this means to a company, right? What, what does it mean to have one million uh, Facebook fans? And you might say, well, you know, that's not going to make a big difference. Well, even if, if it doesn't do anything in terms of increasing the sales, it will do very well for marketing purposes. Okay? And that goes back to the word of mouth, that goes back to the special sales, discounts, student discounts, <coughs> annual car, we're using annual cars and all those things. So it really does help them to use the Facebook as a medium to share their, their special uh, sales, they've got their special um, clothing line and everything. The other important tool when it comes to social media is, of course, Twitter. And they have got more than 186,000 Twitter followers, okay? And you might ask another question, I say, well, how, why that is important? We know that now Twitter is mostly used a lot, not just for uh, sharing uh, special sales and discounts and anything you've got, but also sharing the news about the company, okay? And all of that, so it's quite important quite important media to communicate with your consumers. And again, we all know it's free, right? So it's another channel that they can use to, to uh, disseminate all the news and information they've got about the company. And I believe that is an important part of running an e-commerce site. Again, you need to be thinking, when you think about social media, you think about two major sites, and they are Facebook and Twitter. However, depending on the business you run, you might be considering LinkedIn as well and other social networking sites. Okay? But these are two major and they work really well for ACES. You know why? 
What's their target audience? Can somebody tell me? What is the ACES target audience? What is their target audience? The age range? 18-25? 18 1836. 18 Anyone else? Well, it's according to the Google Trends, is actually the highest range of customers come between 24 to 34. Okay? However, there is a huge percentage of 18 to 24 as well uh, of the target audience they're looking after. So when you look at that target audience, of course. Twitter and Facebook becomes really, really important uh, uh, medium to use. Okay, so again, uh, we might spend other lectures in look, and we will spend other lectures when we will be looking at social media impact on e-commerce sites. However, it's an important part to understand how it works for businesses online and offline. Uh, what else? Okay, well, these are some of the things that we'll be looking at, at today. Okay, we'll be looking at product modeling and how that works, because that is another key component of an e-commerce site. Okay, we'll be looking at our stock availability and how that that work. Uh, shipping costs. That is a quite sensitive part of running an e-commerce site. Pricing, shopping cost, search. You get lost into the website, you need to understand, you need to be able to provide that key feature into your site. And we do know from our experience that there are lots and lots of e-commerce sites where the search box doesn't do anything. In fact, even if you, even if you type a proper word, it will give you no results. Why? It's because they haven't optimized their search engine inside the site. It doesn't do anything. In fact, I'm sure it has happened many times where you can't find something in the site and you go in Google to find about the site you're searching in. Okay, because Google has, op has indexed the site much better than the site has in indexed itself. Okay, so it's quite important to realize, you know, what is the role of searching to the site. Then we'll be looking about payment, merchandising, marketing, Customer service and support, then innovation and complexity. How complex these sites are. So that's what we're going to try and cover today. Product modeling. Well, when you when you run an e-commerce site, you need to understand how you're going to group those sites, those those uh, products that you've got. Okay? How you're going to group them based on size, based on color, based on fashion, based on trend, and all of that. So you need to have a fully customized. Uh, customer management system that will allow you to do that. Okay, and we had an example of Shopify that we we've used before. We did set up Shopify store, and a site a platform like Shopify would allow you to do that. But however, it's it's important to understand how you're going to group those things. Okay, then later on you need to understand um, how how those how those data are synced with the service that you have. In your in your in your company site, okay. Then later on, you need to understand about quantities. You know how much you're going to sell. You need to have an estimate of your sales, and of course, understanding whether you can fulfill customer needs. Then also understand uh, how many you know uh, make an estimation of specific types of products that you will be selling uh, off your on your site, okay. Because the worst thing is to actually have a product in your site that is not available in your stock, but it's still there. And the, the terrible thing is when you're actually trying to sell something you don't even have. And the reason why that happens normally is because your site, the front end part of your site, is not synced with your stock. Or if it's synced, it's actually not uh, lively synced, so then it, it can feed with information as the customer search for for, for the products online, okay? And again, it's it's one of those things that lots of websites do get it really wrong. But when you look at ASUS, they do a perfect job in that. Uh, stock availability, we talk clearly, uh, uh, shortly about it, but again, it's, um, it's one of those things that the reason why I, I highlight it a lot more is because you need to have one of the key features when you don't have 
uh, uh, product available. You need to have a feature that will allow uh, your site to suggest similar products to your customers. Okay, and that is another another important part of looking after your customers online. Okay, when you go into real time shops, okay, you can't find the product you've been looking after. You immediately ask someone in the shop whether they have a similar type of product. So that is what we're trying with e-commerce in the e-commerce industry. We're trying to bring that offline uh, shopping experience to the online world. And the way to do that is by really being able to suggest things to your customers if you do not have the, their favorite product. Again, that doesn't mean that they will buy. However, you're providing them a solution. You're not leaving them just, you know, uh, just out there and then they, they, will, they will feel quite disappointing that they don't have something they, they will be looking after, okay? Again, every time you've got new seasons of clothing line coming along, you've got to make sure that that is, that is lively synced with your, with your um, stock that you've got available and your front end side uh, of, of your e-commerce, okay? And that is essentially done via having a, of course, very powerful link between, between the site and the servers and the stock, okay? And we talked about fulfillment in, in the previous lectures, where you understand how the, actually the logistics side of things work. Okay, so the shipping. Shipping is one of the most sensitive parts of an e-commerce site. Can you tell me why? Anyone? Why do you think shipping is quite a sensitive part of being successful in running an e-commerce site? Anyone? Because it's usually yes? expensive. Sorry? That's one of your biggest costs. Absolutely, that's correct. Thank you. So it's it's really depending on on the weight of the items that you try to ship, that could really affect you know, the, 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 the profit margins you're trying to make with your products. So in other words, you've got to understand, you know, how the shipping cost will affect the uh, profit margins on your site. And that is really important. Sometimes you might say, well, I'm going to offer free shipping for every product that I'm selling online. Well, that's easy to say, but then when you look at the numbers, and you look at the cost for shipping those products, you might actually come to the conclusion that you're not making any money whatsoever. So maybe you're quite successful online, you're selling very well, and you know, you're a range of type of ASUS websites and for fashion online, but if you you know if you've got if you've got such a high you know expenses on shipping, then you're actually not not, not making any money. And of course, the purpose of the business is to make money, right? So, of course, in the beginning, you'll not be making as, as much profit as you'd like to, but as you grow in your, in your e-commerce marketplace, then you will increase that number by optimizing different processes within, within your site. Okay? But it's something for you to realize that is... Uh, it's an, an important part of running an e-commerce site. And again, in your exam questions, we might ask you a similar thing. So you need to be able to provide why that is important for running an e-commerce site. Okay? Uh, again, different items require different conditions. So, of course, depending on the types of the item that you need to be shipping, you know, you probably need to have different wrapping, different types of, of, of style in, 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 uh, in packaging them and things like that, okay? You might have gift, gift wrappings to do as well, and that is another cost for the company. Again, you have several websites that do not charge you for, for wrapping the gifts. But there are lots of websites that do charge you for that. Because they're very careful not to increase the cost the shipping costs for that product. So they're very, very careful because they know that if they don't charge you for that, they have to pay from their own pocket. Okay? There are two things that I highlight here in red, and there is a strong reason behind that. There are lots of websites online that do hide.